He doesn't like being asked if he has used steroids. This is a crazy question, and it's something that um, it's tough to answer just because of the way society is now. Mm -hmm. The way people conceive things because performance enhancing drugs have got the spotlight, and it's a hot thing to talk about. I can't tell you that I haven't, but you'll never be able to prove that I have. So that's the one we're familiar with. Now this is an unedited version, apparently. And I have no idea what to expect. What's up guys, Derek, moreplatesmartates.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out CNN twisting the truth in the John Cena interview. So it's come to my attention that the video we just put out yesterday, so if you haven't seen the video called How Anabolic Steroids Change Pro Wrestling, I highly recommend you check it out. But the John Cena portion of that video is basically him talking about anabolics. And he was put on the spot by CNN. And he had this like roundabout way of getting around the question, which basically said like, you know, like I've taken it, but you'll never hear me say I've taken it sort of thing. Like sort of implying like I'll never say... <laughs> that I'm unnatty, essentially. Um, and you can grill me all you want, and you kind of know what the answer is, but I'll never fucking say it sort of thing. So this is what the hook what the hook was that CNN put out he and like being, I had as uh, the start of the video. He doesn't like being asked if he has used steroids. This is a crazy question, and it's something that, um, it's tough to answer just because of the way society is now. Mm -hmm. The way, People conceive things because performance enhancing drugs have got the spotlight and it's a hot thing to talk about. I can't tell you that I haven't, but you'll never be able to prove that I have. So pretty fucking intense um, and sort of like gives you the answer without needing to hear the answer. And it's pretty like, you know, it's <laughs> it's pretty damning and it's uh, pretty fucked up that they like put him on the spot like that anyways but he uh you know came up with that answer and what everyone presumed to be his actual answer but it turns out that was not his actual answer in fact this clip that basically lost to the internet except to this site which you know rings a bell for me this is like one of the og like viral clip sites from back in like way back in the fucking day like what back when you'd watch like bum fights on fucking youtube and that's like all the all that you'd watch on there E-Bombs World had some of the uh, like big viral clips that you'd watch when, I don't know, like uh, back in high school or back in, uh, I don't know, like it wasn't, uh, I don't really remember when the heyday was of E-Bombs World, but a lot of people I'm sure will recognize the name as did I. So anyways, they have archived this actual clip from the CNN interview where they actually have take a note of the fact that CNN twists the truth about John Cena. He does an interview with them and they take bits and pieces of it to make him sound like he does steroids when in reality he is strongly against it. The first clip is the edited and edited and aired version. So they fucking chopped it up and aired it on TV. And the second is the unedited one. Pretty wild. So this is going to be my first time watching the unedited one as it will be for many of you, I'm sure. This was posted by... Give peace a chance one in 2007. 2007, bro. Fucking crazy. First clip is an interview with John Cena as they aired it. So this is after fucking with the footage and chopping it up to make it paint the narrative that they want, presumably. John Cena is a WWE superstar now recovering from an injury in the ring. He doesn't like being asked if he has used steroids. This is a crazy question, and it's something that um, it's tough to answer just because of the way society is now. Mm -hmm. The way people conceive things because performance enhancing drugs have got the spotlight, and it's a hot thing to talk about. I can't tell you that I haven't, but you'll never be able to prove that I have. So that's the one we're familiar with. Now this is an unedited version, apparently. And I have no idea what to expect. And, you know, I think one of, um, you know, WWE is under the microscope right now. Of course, as is uh, all of sport. Um, a lot of talk about it. How sick of a fucking... 
Def Jam Fight for New York outfit is this, bro. Just got the, uh, the uh, what are these, Air Forces potentially. Got the jean shorts going, the big black tee. Looking like a IFBB bodybuilder, essentially. This is fucking immaculate Def Jam costume selection, bro. Steroid use. Yeah. Drug use. Have you ever used steroids? Absolutely not. And this is a... Even this back is, in bodybuilding days, this is a, football a, days. This is a crazy question. And it's something that um, it's tough to answer just because of the way society is now. Mm -hmm. The way people conceive things because performance enhancing drugs have got the spotlight. And it's a hot thing to talk about. Anytime you see any athlete in any athletic venture, it could be the PGA Tour, achieve physical greatness. Something that is beyond the norm, even for a top-tier athlete. If top-tier athletes are rushing for a thousand yards, and somebody comes out and starts running people over and rushes for two thousand, it's not athletic achievement anymore, and that's something that really gets me. It's he or she is on performance-enhancing drugs, and it's only because that certain athletes have gotten themselves into certain situations where automatically the finger is pointed at somebody. Oh, they're on performance-enhancing drugs. My answer to that question: Have you ever used steroids? is the only thing I can say. I can't tell you that I haven't, but you'll never be able to prove that I have. Because each one of you, each one of you out there has an opinion on how I carry myself. And I can take a million tests. I've been tested for drugs since I've been 17 years old. I can take a million tests. I can pass every one of them. As soon as I pass it, there's some other guy on the other end going, oh, there's masking agents, there's this, there's that. I know the arguments because I've been in a situation. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't actually that much different than I was expecting, but they definitely did chop it up and make it seem a lot worse than it was. But I'll let them continue. The subject that's very, very near and dear to me, only because since I was a very small child, I've worked my ass off to get to where I'm at. And it sucks to be able to have to deal with people saying that I rely on a crutch. You know, I wake up every day and I work myself to the bone because I love what I do. I got the best gig in the world. I love it. And it, it, it kills me to have to, to sit here and do this with one arm. Like, I want to be back out there. You hear stories about uh, guys coming home from the war, and they're in the infirmary, and all they want to do is get back in the field. I want to get back in the field. You know, it, it's killing me. But to have to, to deal with the popularity of a, of a substance that enhances performance, is, it's, it's tough to take. I, uh, I take great pride in the fact that I, I have a, a God-given gift of above average natural strength. And I show it off whenever I can, because to me, that's fun. That's entertaining. It's what I love to do. All right. So <laughs> honestly, I was expecting a little bit different. So this is a, from what I can tell, a scenario in similar to, you know, IFBB pros in the bodybuilding, um, pro bodybuilders, they like for them, it's so ridiculous for them to claim natural in the open IFBB, you know, bodybuilding competitions that they don't. However, a lot of them will severely underplay their use to make it seem like they're more like it's to not downplay their hard work. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, a lot of people do have this like preconceived notion about steroids. Like, oh, if I took if I took fill in the blank compound too, like I'd look like this guy or I'd be as strong as this guy. Like a lot of people legitimately think if they take test D bolt deca, it equates to like Ronnie Coleman, which ob obviously most people here know that's fucking ridiculous, but people in the, you know, I don't know, layman fucking perspective have no idea. They just think steroids equates to giant mega like brontosaurus bodybuilder, which is not the case whatsoever. These guys can take whatever the fuck they want, grams and gobs of shit and never achieve even a fraction of the success in a bodybuilding pursuit that a lot of these top bodybuilders do. And same with John Cena, an incredible athlete, a guy who is genetically blessed from a strength and a muscle building aspect. But again, he's an individual who otherwise, even with the gear, even with that in the equation, there's absolutely no, it's undisputed that this guy is still a phenomenal athlete, still works his ass off, still puts in the time, you know, does what he needs to do, makes the sacrifices necessary to get, get to where he was. And the anabolics would assist you to build that kind of tissue above and beyond what your endogenous hormones can support. And I think most of us here would probably speculate that he is indeed on the Sazul. He's one of the biggest, most baddest motherfucking wrestlers of all time, at least from a 
Uh, like he's very, very athletic too, but above and beyond that, from like a sheer like body composition aspect, there are only a handful of individuals that really come to mind as like cream of the crop bodybuilder hybrid athletes, so to speak. Well, there's actually more than that, but like, you know, I mentioned in the last video, you know, we had like Bobby Lashley, looked like a bodybuilder. Ryback looked like a fucking, I don't know, strongman, power lifter, bodybuilder. We had um, John Cena, we had guys like uh, Batista, Ultimate Warrior, some of those guys, you know, really did look like they could step on a bodybuilding stage. And some of them did, like John Cena was a um, bodybuilder before he became a famous uh, like pro wrestler. But again, just because you take shit, it doesn't necessarily mean that it completely disintegrates everything you did and totally disregards it that you did from a hard work perspective, sacrifice, sacrifice blood, sweat, and tears to get to where you were. But I guess at the time, the stigma and understanding and education around anabolics was so, so fractional compared to what it is now that back then it was even more like an even more hyper exaggerated version of like, oh, you take gear. That's why you're the way that you are. As opposed to understanding there's clearly some genetic predisposition, hard work, um, adherence to long-term sustainable, I don't know, like just sustaining a completely committed regimen for fucking years on end. That kind of stuff is more accepted now that bodybuilders, you know, top athletes, even if they're on gear, still have to do that stuff. Whereas back then it was like, oh, you just inject something in your ass and then you're, you're a cheater. And it equates to you being better at like hitting a baseball. It equates to you being better at fucking three pointer somehow. It equates to you being better as at wrestling and flying through the fucking air and stuff. You know, like it, it sure it augments your ability to pack on muscle and strength and it enhances recovery very significantly, which is quite advantageous for these guys in the ring, but it's not going to take a like you know, a turd and polish it into like a diamond or something. Like it'll become just like a bigger turd. So to have a guy who's like John Cena, it's literally like, like the pinnacle of like human performance augmented with fucking gear. You know what I mean? So that's what's going on here. And for him, at least in my opinion, and for him, I think he is playing this angle because he is Back then, it, again, it was so heavily stigmatized that these individuals otherwise had all their hard work completely disregarded if it was revealed that they use anabolics, which is unfortunate because it's definitely not the case. But you can kind of gather like where he's coming from when he's saying this stuff. And it's kind of, he could have just flat out denied it, I guess. You know, he could have just flat out said like, nope, that's it. Never. I've passed every drug test. Why would you think otherwise? But he went on this, you know, more long, elaborate description of the um, double-edged sword that is this question. And, you know, I think a lot of us can gather now that we have more context around the situation and what the prevalence of anabolic use is in pro wrestling, what, you know, why he may have answered in the way he did. I don't, like, it was kind of, it was shitty for them to chop it up the way they did, though, because it made it look a lot more, like, aggressive and dismissive, like, like, no, I don't take it, like, fuck off. I'm never gonna tell you sort of thing, as opposed to him being quite soft-spoken afterwards and elaborately giving insight that is like very, very useful context relative to the you know question she was proposing. And they just made him look like a dickhead. <laughs> so um, wild how they uh, you know twisted the truth on that, I guess, and kind of tried to twist it in a way that made it look like he was just blatantly flat out saying, like they kind of skipped over the part actually, like to be clear, the part where he says never, like right at the beginning of the interview. Have you ever used steroids? Absolutely not. So absolutely not. And then he says, this is a crazy question because, but in the original, in the cut up interview, when they say, have you ever used steroids? They clearly omit the part where he says, absolutely not. Star in the ring ass. This is a crazy steroids. This is a crazy question. And it's something that, um, it's tough to answer just because of the way society is now. Mm -hmm. The way people conceive things because performance enhancing drugs have got the spotlight and it's a hot thing to talk about. I can't tell you that I haven't, but you'll never be able to prove that I have. Yeah, okay. So like pretty fucking clearly omitting the most important part where he says, no, I've never done it. So let's see. The comment section says, Cena said in the unedited part of the interview when they asked, he said, absolutely not. The sickest part is that they're pulling this crap on Cena. The guy's a hero. He spends a huge amount of time visiting kids with cancer and giving them hope. He granted vastly more Make-A-Wish visits than anyone else. 
What did CNN do? Did you even watch the video? For you to believe that CNN never used steroids, man, you're fucking stupid. That's amazing of him and I respect that, but it doesn't change the fact that he's juicing. That's the whole point of the video. LOL, what a mark you are. And yes, he did and still does steroids. I don't care if he does or doesn't. They interviewed him and he gave his answer and then and back and then back in the editing studio, shoved their hand up his ass and used him as a puppet. What they posted on their shitty news program wasn't his answer. It was their answer. No one should be giving them interviews anymore because it's clear that no matter what you say, they'll just edit it to make you say whatever they want. And suddenly I'm forced to respect those involved in wrestling. Kudos, John. Kudos. This is why I like and respect Cena. Cena can lift the big show. If you know anything about the 80s or any years below the 2000s, you will know the truth about whether he used or not. Yeah, so obviously there are some people that are saying, you know, respect after finding out that it was edited. Um, shitty of them to do that. A lot of people saying you're stupid if you believe that he didn't use shit and ultimately it doesn't really change the you know end message but you know the misleading aspect of this being totally chopped out at least you know give the guy the platform to say what he's trying to say don't like invite him to an interview chop it up and make it look completely fucking different than what he said thankfully we have social media now where you can you know give clarity to situations like this and it's uh it was quite unfair to uh, do this to him, regardless if you think he's natty or not, you know, kind of a fucking shitty thing to do um, by CNN. So at the end of the day, you know, regardless, like I think we kind of all know the answer, I would be hard pressed to, like, it would be very, very, very unlikely in my opinion that this guy is indeed natural. If he was, and he had aspirations of bodybuilding in any context, you know, he obviously could have just got on gear and then blew out Ronnie Coleman and Jay Cutler at the Olympia. Like that's, if that's what this guy looked like naturally, he was a what, like 250 or 260 in the ring or some shit, maybe 240 at the lowest, shredded, guy could have easily been a top Olympian. But I do not think that his physique is representative of a natural individual. But with that being said, interesting to see the full uncut interview and how clearly they completely edited the shit out of it to make it totally misleading. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. All the comments help the algorithm. They're much appreciated. Like, subscribe. Check out my blog, moreplatesmoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram, at moreplatesmoredates. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below. My TRT clinic, all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home. Get high quality medical oversight from doctors who represent the same quality of information I try to put it on my channel and get an individualized protocol designed just for you, regardless if it involves pharmacology or not. We're turnkey and we help out naturals, guys on TRT. Guys sauce to the tits, doesn't matter. We work with everyone as well. Gorilla Mind, nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode, pre-workout formulas. I designed myself from scratch, my recommended lab tests and diagnostics. Stay on top of your health through my clinic that I mentioned earlier. Um, clothing company that sponsors me, literally wearing the shirt right now, as well as the recommended diet model I have for gaining muscle, whilst being mindful of sports performance, vitality, micronutrient intake, overall health, et cetera. So if you want to support me, you can check out anything in the video description. And uh, that's it. Until next time, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.